It has now been 14 days since I received my second vaccination. And so that means that I am fully vaccinated and ready to travel, which is really great. Looking forward to going on this cruise. And I have to report that I've not felt bad one single day. It's been absolutely awesome. The uh, vaccination was no sweat. Just the waiting part, I think, was the toughest thing. Of course, like right now, there's a lot going on in the world. The CDC just announced all these crazy restrictions for cruising in North America. I'm pretty sure the CDC is just basically saying that they don't want anybody to cruise. So from what I've heard, they have restrictions telling people that, you know, you have to wear a mask the entire time cruising, like even when sitting down at the restaurant. Um, the restrictions say that you have to wear the mask in between courses when eating, which is absolutely ridiculous. They, I've heard of also restrictions where uh, masks will be required on the pool deck when not actively swimming in the pool. We'll see how that goes and if this cruise that I have scheduled coming up in September happens, everybody might have some mask lines around the face when we're trying to get a tan at the pool. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go on this cruise anyway. I'm just really excited about being able to do this, bringing you along with me and just showing exactly how it is. Oh, I forgot the other restriction. Apparently they also wanna wear wristbands for proximity alerts and that's going to basically go off when you are six feet away from a fellow passenger yeah I can just imagine rrr, 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 you're six feet away I mean you know back up that's gonna be super weird hopefully all of these restrictions will go away pretty soon and we'll be able to get back to cruising um, I know that the state of Florida and the state of Texas are both suing the CDC to try to get these uh, restrictions taken away these absolutely ridiculous rules this isn't on you know airlines don't have these restrictions i mean you can sit six inches away from somebody and take your mask off to eat an in-flight meal in a metal tube of an airplane that has recycled air in the same way that the cruise ship does and they don't have the same restrictions and you know same thing like Vegas is even opening up all of their their buffet lines now like that's that's open and ready for people to use and people and all these all-inclusive resorts are getting back to being able to be open and you know restrictions are going down so it just really doesn't make sense that the CDC would put these type of restrictions on on cruises that are absolutely ridiculous and especially because the, the biggest restriction is that the, at 100% of the people who are be going on these cruises will be vaccinated. That, that happens nowhere else. 100% of them. I mean, you, you have to have a vaccination right now in order to go cruising. I mean, and, and even when I'm going down here to the Bahamas here in, in June and everybody on that cruise is gonna be vaccinated. That's just a stipulation Royal, Royal Caribbean, of course, since it's not um, sailing from North America, um, this is just a stipulation that Royal Caribbean has put in place. It's ridiculous to have to say that everyone is going to be vaccinated on the cruise and you have all these other restrictions, including wearing a mask. So is the CDC saying that the, the vaccinations don't work? Is that the message that we're supposed to hear? Because if they say everyone must be vaccinated and you also have to wear a mask and you have to have proximity sensors, what is that to say? I mean, obviously in that case, they're, they're wondering if the, the vaccination is even, <laughs> even legitimate at that point. I've waited my 14 days. I've done everything that I'm gonna do. I've done it right. I think the best thing that can possibly happen right now is just everybody follow the rules. Let's have a really good cruise. Um, you know, don't try to rock the boat, pun intended. You know, if, if we can do this right, like we can get a couple really good cruises sailing from North America and we can follow the rules and get a couple of these really successful cruises underway then I think that that's going to be a really good sign for the CDC and other organizations and the cruise industry to uh, ease up on some of these crazy restrictions that they've been putting into place 
Follow me for more information. I'll be trying to put out as much content as possible, especially right when I'm getting on the cruise ship and even the, the traveling to get to the ship. This is actually the first time I've ever going to depart from a port outside the United States. So flying to the Bahamas, getting to, or from the airport to the port, I'll try to document all of that process. And then since the port of Nassau is really not that big, what they're gonna end up doing is staging everyone at a hotel, which is like right outside the port. So that's gonna be interesting. So, you know, getting luggage collected outside the port is gonna be different and getting to the ship. Hopefully I'm not gonna to try to worry too much about making sure my luggage gets there and everything. I've already signed up for bus transport from the airport to the hotel. If I get there early, maybe I'll take a taxi or something in order to get there faster. But I think once we get to the hotel, get processed, I know they'll be taking tests there at the hotel, do the rapid testing, and then they'll be able to let us on the ship. And once it's there, it's gravy. I'll be, I'll, I'll be taking you with me and making sure that I document all the process and figuring out what they're doing and how many tests and you know how the buffets are going to be run and especially like entertainment they haven't released a whole lot of the entertainment that's going to be on the ship quite yet i'll see how that works and like if they're sectioning off different areas or making people stay six feet away from each other i'll be able to document that and show you hopefully doing some uh some live shows from the ship as well so that way you can kind of be there with me and experience it live and in person as always hit the subscribe button right over there i believe it is and the notification bell it might be down there hit that like button smash the like button for me that really helps me out follow me for more cruise updates and travel updates peace out